Hey guys, my name is SuperHunter2 and I'm going to be teaching you how to use the map editor. If you'd like to see more content on scenario editing, please like and press the subscribe button. Last few videos we went over creating object, control and units, changing stances, introducing probability and chance, changing ownership of objects, and now we are going to create weather damage, we're going to create earthquakes, heat, cold damage, whatever we want to do. So if we want to create some earthquakes, we're going to come over here. And you know what? Earthquakes are probably going to be around the cliffs. So we're going to probably put some earthquakes by the, the, the cliffs. But maybe we want to, uh, maybe we're in the desert. And um, right through the snow first. Maybe we're in the snow. And um, there's a storm coming, and the cold damages you over time. And whether it's the wind, maybe it's the wind through um, the mountain pass, because wind moves faster in the mountain pass. So now you got earthquakes, or wind through the mountain pass, or just straight up cold. We also have, if you're in the desert, I expected to see sand right there, but it's called desert sand. And then we also have some quick sand, which is interesting. So maybe you can um, have some quick damage or quick sand damage, and then just some desert sand damage, and then some dry. You know, maybe just just straight up desert. So you got the winter, hot. And then, then um, hot and cold. So there you go. Earthquakes, heat, and cold damage. So now we got the areas. So let's say we're going to, um, let's call this a desert. Okay. So we're going to do desert weather damage. So let's first do a timer. Let's do a timer that repeats every one second. So let's uh, turn it on looping. Repeats every one second. And then we're going to do a net new effect. We're going to do damage object. So in this area, set area, go to area, we're going to damage all, um, let's just damage military, we're going to damage all military, one damage per one second, but we're also going to have to, um, so we're going to have to copy this, so copy, copy. So now we're damaging military, let's damage civilian, and let's damage other, and um, just copy it again, and let's damage building, other, civilian, and military. So everything's being damaged by one per second, um, and the units everything falls in between one of those four things right units buildings or other let's go back over here units buildings or other or civilian so there's actually civilian so then and when you copy it all the areas are set set so you copy after you set that so it, we have all the player one buildings military pretty much all these types of, of object types are being damaged by one per second. That's what that is saying. We're not calling out specific units. We want to damage everything that's here. It's owned by player one. So the first thing we should do is um, make sure our our um, trigger is working and we're going to put some some uh, some test, test stuff, you know what I'm saying? Some, some test stuff. 
so so let's see make sure we see damage of this stuff over time now you could also do the flip side let me say like if you're in the desert you're gonna lose um, one sec per per one one health per second but then you could probably put like a monk an allied monk there to heal you through the desert or maybe a allied monk on another team that is uncontrollable that sits there that's allied to everyone to heal people that go there and I'll be like a watering hole but a monk can only heal so much so only so many people can be there to be healed so limit how many people going to the desert or in any area that damages over time so you got people dying now um, I wonder why this trigger is not going off right now let's go investigate why what happened to oh because I turned it off that's why no I know this is supposed to turn it on yeah so it activates two turns on after 10 seconds and then after 30 seconds to change your ownership but here we're creating object there, there, and there. Let's go back up to 50. Maybe they're just not occurring. The chance. Let's see. The 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 the. Um, triggers I'm testing, oh, there you go, that's why I want to test, I knew they were working, it just didn't make sense, um, there you go, and they only lose damage when they're in that area, so you could also heal, um, some other things you could do, you could just, you put a, instead of damage object, you could do kill object, but after we get it, up and running for one person like we have it we're gonna want to copy to player one player two player three player four player five and this is where it gets a little bit tricky and this is where you want to download age of king trigger studio to help you do this but we're gonna now have to change this to player two we're gonna change all these to player two so that even player two objects are damaged here so now and then you have to do player three and player four. So um, let's call this for player one. And then let's call this um, desert weather damage player two. Call this player one. And then. Um, Like I said, if we, we don't want to damage the object, we could change this to kill the object. Just straight up kill him. Or we could just increase how much damage is done. Just keep increasing it. And then if we want to add, um, you know, some randomness. some it's, it's not really random. Everything becomes pattern-ish when you repeat randomness. It's yeah, that's simulation for you. But um, like I said, add that uh, chance, the chance of someone being hurt. So instead of everyone losing um, one health per second, now there's a or not not effect, not effect. New condition. Now there's a chance of um, it happened like tw a twenty percent chance of someone losing one health. So now you're losing. 2 health per 10 seconds instead of 10 health per 10 seconds. So, even so, it's 20% chance, it's random, it, it, it's kind of random. It's a 20% chance of randomness. The randomness isn't changed. Like, if, if this number randomly changed, then it'd become more random, but then the system to make the random number needs to be random. And how do you make a random system? Well, you use a random system, but how do you use a random system if no random systems really exist to create a random system? And that's the point I'm trying to 
describe in simulation. Basically, the difference between stochastics and um, deterministic. Stochastic has variability, and deterministic is this is the path you follow. And Age of Empires becomes very deterministic. Like, there's a path you follow to get your most optimal output. So, adding stochastic into video games, like, you know, you're shooting an arrow and has a 91% chance of hitting your enemy Age of Empires unit. That's stochastic, but you know, nine percent of the time, that nine arrows out of a hundred arrows is gonna miss, and ninety-one out of hundred is gonna hit. Typically, it might be ninety, hundred, ninety-two, hundred, or plus or minus some, but that's still kind of deterministic because you know what's gonna happen, even so you added variability. It's it's great though. That, that's why I love this game and, and engineering and simulation, and that's how you can create earthquakes, heat damage, cold damage, healing. Um, maybe have some water here. If you buy the water, you gain five health per second. You know, stuff like that. Uh, maybe just in random parts of the map, you have like a one percent chance of just instantly dying. There's a lot of things you could do, or earthquakes. You could just destroy the buildings, or um, what you could do when an when an earthquake comes by. So let's do let's do an earthquake for example. This one's kind of cool. So earthquake. So we'll do our earthquake. Um. And then we're gonna do it off. And then we're gonna need something to trigger the earthquake. And then when it is triggered, we're going to do an effect of um we're going to remove object all right not remove object um replace object maybe Okay, what I'm trying to do is like delete a cliff side, but now I'm trying to think about it. I don't know if you actually can delete a cliff side. Sorry for that delay in in a in a thought process, but my idea got kind of broken in mid mid uh, mid whatever. But I guess another scenario you could do is uh, you could have okay. First, you're gonna have you're gonna set a building of a different color like this so you go building army tent and say you gotta get past this way this this is where you gotta get through maybe it's even a gate you have a gate that, that's, that's a good way to do it you gotta get past this gate and then all of a sudden, an uh, earthquake hits. And then we're going to um, damage the object. Damage to. And maybe you want to kill everything. If you want to just kill everything, we're going to damage everything 4,000. 2,000. Or let's do 1,500. Let's damage everything 1,500 and 2. And we're going to do everything, so we're just going to fall two in this area. So everything in the area is going to be damaged um, instantly. Or actually, let's just turn it on. Or wait. Actually, um, just let's trigger the earthquake. Let's do a quick. Let's just, just go through the steps so you guys have it. Trigger earthquake.
So, um, so there's a new effect for a new condition at 10 minutes, 600 seconds into the game. An earthquake's gonna happen because we're gonna trigger, activate our trigger. We're gonna activate. We're gonna earthquake. There you go, earthquake. Activate trigger after earthquake. After um. Oh, we want to do six seconds. We don't actually want to wait ten minutes to test it, and then we should see two thousand damage done or fifteen hundred damage done to these buildings, whatever I put there on the count. Um. Okay, my dumbass. Red didn't have a unit, so the game ended right away. So we're gonna give each person a unit so that doesn't happen again. So, this video is a little bit longer, but it's trying to describe the concept of creating an earthquake with heat and cold damage. But yeah, there you go, after six seconds, the earthquake hit. Um, the, the distant. See, it's 5,000 health, so it didn't fall. So if we go behind and look at the tents, the tents should be out. Alright, and the guy is going out, the chance of... It's all coming together, right guys? Yeah, see, that the tents broke, but just got damaged. So you can do all sorts of creative things with that idea itself. So thank you for stopping by, press the subscribe and like, and thank you for hanging out. Peace out, guys.